Hey guys, welcome back to Homesteading Off The Grid. We're bringing you another firewood chopping video today. Um, one of the things I love most about our channel is our subscribers because I've mentioned this before in other videos. I feel like this is one of the few times in which we've seen social media done right. Social media done correctly. And what I mean by that is our subscribers are wonderful. They don't say, hey, you're stupid. You should do it this way. You're an idiot. You're going to kill yourself. They say, hey, I appreciate the fact that you're trying, but you might want to try this differently because this is safer or more effective. Yesterday, we made a video about how to chop these big, large rounds with um, axes and hatchets and all this stuff. And I was banging steel on steel, the end of my axe with the hatchet because I saw somebody else doing it and it worked. And so I said, wow, this is how you should do it. But I listened to you guys and today I went out and I got earplugs. I'm already half deaf from the war. I figured what little bit of hearing I got left, I should probably keep so I can hear the nightingale voice of my beautiful bride who's recording this. And I always wear gloves most of the time. Cut myself the other day, but not. But uh, honey, let's show them what we bought today. We happen to be in town today. And so I stopped by Lowe's, I took your guys' advice. I got me a cobalt uh, sledgehammer. This is a 10 pound head. I got one of the diamond wedges and then I got a traditional wedge. And I've been out here practicing with this and I wanna thank our subscribers. You guys know who you are. There were dozens of you who recommended different tools because you were right. You said you were worried my hatchet blade might fall off the handle. It was starting to come loose from out here doing this yesterday. So these work better. And uh, so I'm gonna show you how we do it this way. This is crazy. Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. We're like not the worst homesteaders on YouTube, but we're kind of like towards the bottom because I feel like I'm always teaching people who know more about this stuff than me anyway, how to do this stuff. But you guys enjoy watching and we enjoy you being here watching. So watch this. This is so much, uh, honey, let's give them a close up of me getting this thing started. Now I'm not gonna hit this hard so we don't have to worry about my beautiful bride's hearing or, or uh, her eyes, the steel on steel thing. But this is, you guys were right, this is so much easier. And you don't have to use strength, just get that started like that, a couple taps. And then from here, step on back, hon. So that we keep the steel shards out of your beautiful, large, black almond eyes, should they fly off the mall. Yeah, that's a mall. This is a sledgehammer. Okay, what I've learned is it's all about just making contact. Oh, did you get that on camera? You should have, silly. We have a chicken that was walking backwards like it was doing the moonwalk. Maybe it saw a snake or something else, like it starts with a sask and ends with a squash. <laughs> okay, so anyway, here goes. This is heavy, but I'm just letting it fall. I'm not swinging it. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? If I would have tried that with an ax, because I have been, uh, I would just get the ax buried. And so I'm going to quarter this. I'll be picking that one back up here. Make sure not to touch that on my, drop it on my toes. So then I just move this one here. Get it going here. Just a few taps to get it started. Hmm. Look at that, isn't that awesome? So anyway, that's how to split large rounds with a diamond shaped maul and a sledgehammer. It's heavy. Most of you folks already knew that, but I want to thank our subscribers that recommended I change things up a little bit because this is easier and it is much safer than going at it with, a, with the ax and a hatchet. Uh, but in case you don't know, maybe you're one of the people who are trying to figure out how to do it. It's really easy. We got this at Lowe's for I think $34.99. This was I think $10.99, so $45-ish dollars or so. And it makes, it's going to make life a lot easier. So thanks for being with us for another video from Homesteading Off the Grid. And we'll see you for more next time.